Welcome back. As promised, let's get Manisha Gupta to tell us about what's happening in the commodity markets. Manisha, what are you tracking today? Well, Sonia, I'm looking at copper and Dr. Copper. I want to call it that because finally we're looking at a lot of support coming for this one. You know, for all these months, equity markets were doing well, but not copper. But we are finally looking at LME copper now trading at a seven-month highs above $8,800 a ton. If you look at the New York copper prices, those are trading at a 16-month highs. And the Chinese copper prices are trading the best at almost 24-month highs. So every time zone that you look at in globally for copper prices is trading at a multi-month highs for these markets there. Well, the support really comes in quite strong on a week-on-week -week basis. If you look at copper prices, we're up by 4% and it's 8% up in the last one month as well. The copper inventories is like an interesting number to watch out for. When you look at the Chinese copper inventories, well, it has jumped up quite strongly. We started the year with 30,000 and we are looking at 230,000 tons of copper inventories right now. But on LME, it's quite a reversal really because we started the year on a weaker note, a stronger note rather, and we've seen nearly 30% of a decline coming for the copper inventories on the LME markets. So there is uh, some online warrants that markets have have seen onto this one. Now, most interestingly, and this is the point to watch out for, 15 Chinese smelters have agreed, and this is a rare one, really. They've come jointly, and they have come up, uh, they have said that uh, they will cut production due to losses there. Now, TCRC charges, when you look at that, have continued to decline as well. If you look at the overall smelting that Jan and Feb have seen, it has been 11.5% of a decline onto this one. So much of this has been inactive. Various reports have already suggested that. And processing fees for uh, copper in China and global markets has continued to decline. It's at a decade lows. I actually want to take you through those charts as well. So when you look at uh, the latest numbers that have come in in sense of TC, it's as low as 3 to $8 a ton at this point in time. On 1st of March, it was at $12.19 at, in Feb. November, that is when the prices got decided. For all of this year, it was decided at $80 a ton, which was already lower than 2023 on what they saw at $87. So from $80 of a decision, we are trading at $3 to $8 a ton in cents of TC charges, and the markets are scared that it could go to zero. And is the reason you have seen all of those smelters come together and talk about cutting production. Now, this tells you that the near-term tightness is something that is supporting copper. And if the smelters do not work, then from concentrate to copper cathode is something that you will see tightness come in for as well. The other thing is Kodelco, where the production also has continued to decline. There are mine disruptions as well. So copper clearly in favor at this point in time. And experts tell us that from these levels as well, 8 to 10 percent of an increase in next three months is what you should be ready for. Right, uh, <clears throat> Marisa, thanks very much uh, for that. We'll